Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. You guys, I am ready to move in for February. I'm not ready to say goodbye to all the blue and the snow, but um, I am, I'm, I can't, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm going to move in a little bit early for February because I'm hopefully before the end of the month going to get my new Melody, my Northern Lights Melody from um, Australia here shortly and I'll do an unboxing and then I can show you um, how to integrate my planner into that Melody in case you haven't seen one of those videos before. So let's get started. I am going to set this up right now as a three section transformer planner. I did take my horizontal lettering out of there. Um, these are expander discs and it was getting kind of chunky even at the beginning of the month before I did all the Franken planning that I do and I didn't care for it. Plus I have fallen off the wagon on actually lettering my quotes. I'm still decorating with the hopes that I'll go back at some point maybe on a vacation or something and have a nice long lettering session and fill some of those in. So right now I've just got my three main sections. Um, my vertical catch-all which is the modern meow. Um, my dashboard, social media, and then my wellness. So let's go ahead and get started. I have these gorgeous, and I did remember to look these up before I started the video. They're 1.5 inch discs from Talia that I ordered off of Amazon back way back in 2019. So I will see if they are still available, and if so, I will link them in the description. Um, but I know you can order those from other sources. So again, they're 1.5 inch. They're listed as rose gold, but obviously they're much more pink than that. Um, so, but 1.5 inch, so they are just, they're bigger than classic, but smaller than expander, a little bit smaller than, than the Happy Planner expansion discs. And as you can hear, they're metal. So let's get started. Um, for those of you that are watching this for the first time, these are some covers I made myself. I always make them reversible, just like Happy Planner. I think I used probably this set of covers last year. Um, this year I'm going to use this set of covers. These are just graphics I found probably on Pinterest, and I made these. I laminated these. Um, at the time I did these, it was a while ago, I did not have um, my my nice professional 10 mil laminator so I did double 5 mil. I have a video for that. I'll try to remember to link that in the cards up above. If I forget and you were really looking forward to that video, it's on my DIY playlist um, and I can also, um, if you just can't find it and I forget to link it, um, leave me a comment and I will definitely find it and link it in the comment for you. So, all right, so I have my front and my back cover held together. And I'm just popping my nine discs in. Back when I made these, I did not make coordinating bookmarks. So I went through my stash of Happy Planner bookmarks and found this one with just some plain black hearts. So we're going to use that. So first of all, um, we're going to just set this up like a normal planner, but with three months. So for my catch-all planner, the Modern Meow, and you guys are going to see I finally lettered my name pages, hand-lettered them myself um, all in all of the sections of my planner. So um, I have my name page and my perpetual calendar, which I have not gotten around to filling out yet. In this, in my catch-all planner, I just do um, birthdays and holidays I like to remember to celebrate. So like Lunar New Year, um, the Winter Olympics, um, Mardi Gras, I will put all those holidays in so that when I look to make sure there are no birthdays um, before I do my spread, I'm like, oh yeah, that International Coffee Day, that falls this week and I know I want to do a spread based on a, the, the few holidays that I absolutely know for a fact I want to do a spread around, I make sure and put on my perpetual calendar. So, all right, so here is the first half of January. So this is my February move-in. So I should tell you guys, I do three months in each section. Um, I do previous month, current month, and future month. So since this is my February move-in, I my previous month will be January, current month will be February, and future month will be March. So all three sections of this planner will end up with January, February, and March. Now, I already took December out. Normally I would take December out and put it back in the archive, but I already took all my Decembers out because of doing my um, full year 2021 flip-throughs. Those are already pulled out. So, all right, so there is January. And then we'll put February in just like I would normally put, put it in. Okay, there's February. And then we'll go ahead and grab my 2022 archive. 
and we'll go ahead and grab oh and there's a page I didn't use because of Franken planning so I just store that in there so we'll go ahead and grab March okay and now I'm done with this archive and I do have a video on how I made my archives and why I have a couple videos actually I'll try to remember to link those in the cards up above but um they're pretty easy to find again on my DIY playlist. And then also in my catch-all planner, I have a small um, notes section where I have stuff like my discount code tracker um, and stuff like that. So, so there we go. That is, right now it's not a transformer. It just has three months of my vertical catch-all planner, January, February, March. All right, so to make this into a transformer, we're gonna go inside the very, very, very back cover and we're gonna put the next set of covers in, which I'm gonna reuse one of the sets of covers I have on my planner right now. I want to reuse the Northern Lights because I know I, I know that that planner is on its way to me. Um, it finally moved, It's it was on the East Coast and it's gotta get all the way to Seattle, so. So, but um, I want, this is one of the papers. It's going to match the melody when I get it. So I had this one, I had these covers front and center from my January move-in because of the wintry colors. This time I want to go make this one the front and center. So put your front, for your next one, I'm inside my back cover. I'm going to put my front cover on right where I normally would on this, on the right hand side. And then the matching left co back cover is gonna go, here's the tricky part, it's gonna go over here on the left. So now, when I pick it up by the disc, it's gonna swing shut, and we're gonna have a matching front cover and a matching back cover. See how that works? That's why you do it that way. And then inside now, I'm gonna put all my social media stuff. So in my social media planner, I have um, social media planner, that's where I get all my ideas. It's where I use the most post-it notes. So I keep my dashboard that I made, and I don't have a video on this. I made it way before I started my YouTube channel. It's just a plastic dashboard that I stuck a bunch of different um, post-it notes on, but I keep that at the beginning of my social media planner because that's where I find myself reaching for them the most. Um, here is my cover on my social media planner again wrote my name I think it turned out pretty good um, okay and then we'll go to January which is this beautiful dark floral cover I love it so pretty I don't know why I always like dark colors in my my social media planner so there's the first half of January don't need that bookmark I'm going to use um, oh am I gonna keep that bookmark I guess I am. Okay. It's okay. It matches. It's got, it's one of the, another one of the happy planner bookmarks. All right. And then the back half of January. February. And we'll come back and set up, um, the rest of February in my social media planner since I do my Franken plan with the monthly in that. So we'll come back to that. Um, let's grab my March out of my archive. Again, a page that I didn't end up using. So and I'm moving a whole month at a time, which I can do because I haven't Franken planned a bunch of um, super thick scrapbook paper into it yet. So done with the archive. After March, I ha again have a little notes section. All right, so there we go. Now I've got two sections. So I've got my, this cover starts the beginning of my social media section. And then if I go, to the next cover, which I can feel it. I don't even have to be looking at what I'm doing. Grab it by the discs, let it swing shut. Now I have my catch-all planner. So there's my cat lady, I'm sorry, modern meow, catch-all planner, just that easy. So it transformed, it transformed from my social media to my catch-all. So we're gonna put one more section in. Again, very, very, very back cover. And for this one, I, you guys know I love my botanicals, I love my, um, 
florals and serenity, tranquility in my wellness planner. So this is a sheet of um, paper from Planners Anonymous. It is from the uh, serenity kit. It's a, a, a very old kit. You can't get it, but they're putting more and more of these in digital version on the website. Um, and I think this one might be on the list. So then you could download this graphic and print it out and make a cover from it that way. So, so I want this to be my front cover because I just like the purples and pinks. It says, you know, I'm seasonal. It says um, February to me. So, and then this is also from the kit. And I just, they were meant to be um, a landscape instead of portrait. So I just cut them out um, and layered them, framed them to make them big enough. So, so there we go. Front cover, back cover, lift it up by the discs. It swings shut. And now I have just transformed to my wellness planner. All right. So inside the front cover of my wellness, I am going to grab, and I'm using the seasonal floral planner for this one. Um, I don't have the whole perpetual calendar because I don't really use it in my wellness planner, but you could if you wanted to do like step count or calorie count or I don't know something like that you could absolutely use that I just I don't have a need for that so all right let's move January over so there's the first half of January bookmark so I'm going to use this bookmark. This one coordinates. You can see I just took the leftover paper and made one, made a, um, a a wide bookmark out of it. It does. It was too short since it was landscape to hit all nine discs, but that's okay. It works totally fine. Not popping it on the last disc. So, all right. And here's the other half of January. Okay, we'll put February over there. Okay, and then all that's left of this now is covers and bookmarks, and I will put those away later. We'll grab my wellness archive and go ahead and put March in there. So I have my third month. That looks very Eastery. Does Easter fall in March this year? Nope. Mardi Gras does. St. Patrick's Day does. Oh, I got lots of seasonal stuff I can plan for. Okay, done with the archive. So that's it, you guys, um, for the transformer setup part. So now I have three sections, so nine months, three sec sections each, um, and it, it fills up the discs okay. So if I want to go, if I want to have my um, wellness planner front and center, there we go. If I want to have my catch-all planner and work in that for a while, I just grab it by the discs, let it fold shut, and there we go, there's my catch-all planner. So this comes in really handy as I film my different videos, I can just switch from section to section. And there we go, there's dashboard. All right, so, um, although I will tell you guys, I do like having the section I'm gonna work in as the center section, not the top section, because it more evenly distributes the pages across the discs and just makes it easier to work in. So I want to show you how I set up my challenge page in my dashboard planner. Um, so let's do that next. So here is my dashboard. Here is February. So normally you would turn from the monthly view where I list all my videos to the first of the week of the dashboard spread. So first of all, while we're in here, let's count. I think there's four weeks. One, there should be two, three. Yep. Four, four weeks. Okay, so for my challenge, and let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll go back and show you January real quick. So there's January. So I have several different challenges, not as many as last year. A lot of them aren't um, active anymore, but as I find more, I'll add to them. But I like to list all the challenges, um, including my own um, Happy Planning Tips and Tricks Challenge, Tips and Tricks group off of Facebook Challenge, and most of these come off of Instagram. A few are on Facebook. Um, but I like to list them all out here. So for example, when I go to look at the first week in February, I don't wanna do Valentine's Day spreads in all of my planners. So what other things are out there? And then I just write like C for catch all, which is my vertical, L for lettering, H for horizontal, D for dashboard, and W for wellness. I just look at the different challenges for the week uh, the upcoming week and that helps me plan 
what my themes are going to be for my spreads. So I like to have those in my dashboard planner because that's where all that planning happens. I've, a I've had lots of people ask me, do you put stuff in your planner in over and over, like repeat, repeat the stuff. And like, guys, who has time for that, right? So everything goes in my planner one time. I have clear buckets for what goes in catch all, what goes in social media, what goes in wellness. And I stick to those buckets. That way, if I need to reference something, if it has an assigned bucket that it always goes in, just make the decision for what makes the most sense to you. Six months from now, I know which bucket to go back and look in so I'm not looking in multiple planners for a piece of information. Does that make sense? So, so clearly define your buckets um, and you won't have find yourself taking the extra time to repeat, repeat, repeat. So anyway, okay, I digress. So last year I Franken planned together a vertical planner with a, I'm sorry, a dashboard planner with a monthly planner. Yes, monthly. This year I decided I don't need the monthly. There weren't any monthlies that I liked. Last year there was one where I really loved the, um, I think it was the Dark Botanicals. They had it at Hobby Lobby and it happened to be a monthly. And so I had the calendar and then I had, I went straight to the first pages of the monthly. This year I didn't bother with that, although I, as you can see, I liked the um, pages from the vertical. So I go from vertical, but I don't need this. I need lines, right? So I just have a couple pages of notebook paper. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see now that I'm not messing with archives and everything. In, not out. There we go. Um, so I have two pages of notebook paper. And then I don't need this calendar page because I have this calendar page, right? And this way everything matches. So I needed to put this in here anyway. And then I go to my neutral dashboard. So I just frank and plan these together. Okay, so how are we going to set these up? Let's set these up. So first thing I need to do is put a February sticker on here. I want the February calendar on here. And so I have, where did those stickers go? So I have these stickers from the Fat Cat Designs. It was a whole year of her little signature kitty cat character and they're seasonal, you guys. They're microscopic, but they're seasonal and I love them. So I'm using these to for a calendar up here. So let's put February on there. There we go. Oh, wait, before I do that, I wanna put washi tape on the page because, oh my gosh, gotta have washi tape. Let's see if I can peel this up. I'll grab the undo if I have to. I think I always forget to do that. There we go. Okay, so for washi tape, I chose um, the, I have the ice skating kitties with the different hats, and then I have this pink one. You're gonna see a lot of pink in February, guys, just like you saw lots of blue in January. I just love the pink. So I feel like the ice skating kitties need to be on the floor. So I'm just going to go all the way across both pages of paper. Since there are less um, challenges right now, I, I don't need as much room. So I'm going to go all the way across the top with the pink one and all the way across the bottom with the ice skating kitties because I don't, I just, I, I really want the ice skating kitties and I like that the sky is kind of pinkish. When you're putting your washi tape on your pages, don't pull it super tight. That um, literally, when you're doing a long run of washi tape like this, that literally causes your, your washi tape to stretch just a tiny little bit, almost imperceivable. But when it, when it is on the page, it curls because it contracts again. So, so don't pull your washi tape super tight. Pull it tight enough to get it straight, of course, but don't, don't pull it super tight. Okay, and I do need to, what did I do? No, that's right. I was like, what did I do? I do need to repunch these top holes. So I'm just gonna grab my Crocodile single hole punch, which this is linked in the description box and just punch the top and bottom holes again. Put your, put your washi tape sticky side to sticky side. It's less likely to get stuck in your punch that way. Now, I always forget to do that, you guys. If you watched my January video, I think I forgot to do that in this video, in that video too. So now we're gonna slide this down a little bit. There we go. And then I wanna grab three monthly habit trackers for um, marking the days that I post videos and do um, all the different things I need to do social media wise. So we'll grab 
These look good. You got this one day at a time. Make it a habit. I like these pinky ones. These came from the Mega Mega Brights. And here's Mega Pastels. Is there... There's a purple. Okay, there's three shades of pink. Do I just really want to go pink bonkers? I think I do. I think I just want to go bonkers on the pink. So let's just... Let's do kind of an ombre. We'll go the lightest pink and then medium and then dark. So yeah, I got three shades of pink. All right, let's put the medium, let's do the middle one first for spacing purposes. So I'm gonna fill up this space with these. Just kind of eyeball the center there with that one. Light above and dark below. And this is, this is setting this up this way is new to me actually you guys and I just remembered another thing that I forgot that I want these to be down further so it's a good thing I didn't stick them down super hard because I want to use my social media kitties on those to mark which one is which I'll show you here so we're gonna have to move a couple of those but so here I have my social media kitties so I'm gonna grab one of each there's a Facebook and these are from sticker fever um, an Instagram and a YouTube. There we go. Okay, I got one of each. So let's, shouldn't have stuck them on those fingers. Let's put them on here. So we're gonna go YouTube. And I know I'm covering up the you can do it. I guess I could put it here. Why don't I put them, um, why don't I put them over here, you guys? I think I'll put them over here. There we go. And then Let's move this down a little bit. I didn't stick it down very hard, so. And we'll move this one down just a little. Okay, so I gotta remember. I gotta remember next month in March, start at the bottom and work my way up. Put the wash tape on first, oh my goodness. Okay, it ripped the page a little, but I'm gonna cover that back up with a sticker, so. There we go. Okay, and Insta. Next thing I want to do is divide the remaining space into four columns, which I have less space here than here, but that's okay because every couple of months there's a, a five week month and then I need three columns over here. So it all works out. Okay. So I'm going to just grab a highlighter, a nice pink highlighter and a straight edge. And I'm going to, I'm going to go from here as my side. So let's see. That is about, from there to there is about 10-ish, so five. So right there is my center, right at the top of this pine tree here, about there. All right, so I'm just going to draw a nice wide pink line. Pink overload. Okay, and then same thing over here. Let's find the center. About 16, about 8. So right at the top of his hat is about the center. Doesn't have to be super exact. And if this were if this were a five-week month, I would divide this side into three columns. So I have five instead of four. Okay. Next, I want to put the dates, the date ranges for the weeks. So Let's get our weeks. So this is gonna be January 31st to February 1st. And I have my Girl Boss Anna overlay tapes, which I am very, very obsessed with. This is one of the new Love Letters colors. And so I wanna write the date and then put this overlay tape over it. So I'm just gonna kinda look at where that needs to go and what size my dates need to be. And then I'll put the tape over top. So. If I write the date right here, so this is going to be 0131 to 0206. All right, any pen will do because I'm not writing on the tape, I'm writing under the tape. Perfect, look at that. Awesome. Oh, I love it. It's like I highlighted it. Okay, next week is going to be 27 to 213. I'll go ahead and do these other two and I'll speed it up. 
And I do flip those since they're not symmetrical, since they're asymmetric, I do flip them just to kind of vary it up a little bit. So, all right. So then the next thing I would do is fill in the different challenges, right? So I'll just do my Facebook groups challenge as an example to show you guys. And you can do this any way you want. I wanna grab a nice dark pen though. All right, so I grabbed a really, really dark just Papermate flare. So for an example, I'm gonna write my Facebook groups challenge in here. I'm just gonna center it kind of across the two columns. So, so I already know what the subjects are gonna be, but if you didn't, you could set your page up and then fill in the subjects later. Same thing over here. Um, another one is, let's see, planable February, 2022. So let's go ahead and put that one in. There we go. Okay, so that's all the more set up. I'm not gonna have you guys just watch me write in fast forward, who needs that? So let me show you how I'm gonna put it in my planner. Okay, so for this side, um, I don't want it to be notebook paper on the back. I want it to be the first week of my dashboard layout. So, but you guys know, if you followed me for a while, you know how often I use scrapbook paper. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this page or scrapbook paper. So at this point, I'm just gonna put this in my planner the way it is, all right? And whatever I end up doing this first week in February, probably gonna be scrapbook paper. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek for those of you that watch these videos. Um, Lunar New Year is February 1st. I'm probably gonna do a piece of red and gold scrapbook paper of some sort to do a Lunar New Year spread. So that, this page will come out and it'll get Frankenplan to that side. For this side though, I know I need, I'm gonna use this calendar. I haven't set it up yet, but this will be my calendar page and I wanna flip directly from the calendar to this page. So I'm gonna Frankenplan these two pages together. I'm gonna to go all the way around the page with some tape runner, even in between the punches. There we go, you guys. That is it. That is my entire transformer planner setup for all three sections in my planner. Uh, I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to try transformer planning for yourself. The most amazing thing to me about the disc bound system and why I will never do anything else, even if it means taking the pages out of a spiral bound planner, cutting the spiral holes off and repunching with my own, the reason I will always have my planner on discs is it is just so functional. If you try your tra your transformer planner and you use it for a little while and you just don't like it, um, you can take it all back apart and put it all back the way it was. So um, I will probably always use a disc bound planner. I have literally for decades. So I hope you like this video. I hope it does encourage you to give transformer planning a try. If it does, please consider liking and subscribe, subscribing. Thank you.